60 million Americans, that's 20% of people today, have uh, heartburn. The antacid medication is the number one prescribed group of drugs in the United States. So what causes heartburn? You chew your food, and your food makes all kinds of enzymes, very important enzymes to digest starches, and it passes down to your esophagus, and your esophagus is like a tube that basically is a passageway to your stomach. And at the end of the esophagus is a little, it's called the lower esophageal sphincter. And that's a, a very important um, sphincter that basically controls the reflux because the, the esophagus is a very delicate little tunnel. It doesn't have the same, it doesn't, it's not supposed to have acid like the stomach. And so um, the the lower esophageal sphincter gets loose and that stomach acid, you know, refluxes back. And so you'll have the pain, the burning, or the acidness in your stomach. What do you think has happened that we're needing more and more antacids? It's processed, chemicalized foods. The food today is not what it was 50 years ago. They say that you'd have to have, eat 50 apples today to the equivalent of one apple 50 years ago. Your health resides in your gut. So what is the gut? The gut is the esophagus, the stomach, and the small and large intestines. But if your gut isn't healthy, you're not gonna be healthy. So what happens when you don't have enough stomach acid though? You die. So the stomach is keeps you alive. The hormonal production, the vitamins, the minerals, all will not be absorbed if you do not have adequate stomach acid. So turning off your stomach acid is one of the worst things you can do to your body.